Yet, that's where these enormous crested hadrosaurs are heading, to take advantage of one site in particular, one that has something special to offer. The long necks of these dinosaurs are particularly elegant and give them their name. The Loro Titan, giant swan. Their calls are amplified by their head crests, which are hollow. So this is where they nest. volcanic sand Hadrosaurs look after their young with care They bring mouthfuls of plants for them to eat nest may contain over 20 youngsters. The babies have arrived at a time of brief but rich summer plenty. Fueled by a sun that for weeks never sets to feed the whole herd. It lushest grass. And in the long summer days, the hadrosaur babies grow quickly. They can reach half their adult size in their first year. Right now, these volcanic wetlands are the most productive places on the planet. Both above Every year, this paradise turns into a living hell. Hadrosaurs have surprisingly thin skin, and so have little defense against blood-sucking insects. Constant irritation makes it hard to feed, and they become dangerously weakened. Oh. And babies can lose blood in life-threatening quantities. Eventually, the herd is forced to move on to escape the plague. If the young can't keep up, their mothers abandon them. As they go higher, stronger winds bring some relief. But only for those able to walk that far. Of the hundreds of hadrosaur babies born, only one in ten survived their first year. But those that do have a good chance of reaching adulthood.
By nesting in this volcanic valley, the parents give their young the best possible start in life. Although the short and warm polar summer is a time of great plenty, it can also bring perils.